is Monday and we talk money talks on a Monday and today we're we're talking uh, about credit ironically interest rates uh, are discouraging or high interest rates are discouraging people to use credit to cool down the market but at the same time uh, high interest rates are forcing families to dip into more credit simply to get them through the month. South African consumers are, are heavily reliant on, on the ability to use revolving credit. In fact, our use of credit on this basis is at its highest level since April 2010. That's according to TransUnion's 2022 SA Consumer Credit Index. And this is, of course, uninspired, unsurprising given the strain on people's pockets due to high rate hikes and um, a very, very weak job market. Ayanda Ndimani is the head of business development at Sunland Retail. Talks to us now about credit utilization. Good morning, Ayanda. Firstly, what is credit utilization? Good morning to you and your listeners. So credit utilization is basically what the, the creditors, the banks use to assess how much of credit, how much revolving credit you are using as an individual versus the overall credit that you've been granted. As you would know that, you know, like when you apply for a credit card, you are informed that, okay, um, you've got access to 10,000 rand. So your credit utilization ratio is made up of how much of that 10,000 rand are you currently using. So, in fact, trying to determine the your use of credit and whether it actually negatively impacts on your credit score. Yes, absolutely. It's in terms of how much are you using and how much are you actually able to pay back or are you just, you know, you keep going back to withdraw from that 10,000 that you've been granted. So if your credit card with 10,000 rand as a limit and you use 3,000 of that, your credit utilization rate is 30% and that has the ability to to negatively impact the credit score. But the question then then remains, why are banks offering you 10,000 rand credit? And that's just an arbitrary figure. Why is the the bank offering you 10,000 rand credit um, knowing that uh, if you were to go to 90, 95, 100%, credit utilization that you may not be able to to pay that back responsibly well you know the creditors will will allow you credits that you can afford right um and then with revolving credits you use and you pay back because there's terms and conditions that you sign up for right so it doesn't necessarily mean that you cannot use the full 10,000 rand because you know according to the affordability score you could afford it but it basically means that um you know use what you are able to to afford. So if you take the 10,000 rand, you need to pay it back as soon as possible. The accepted um, credit utilization ratio is usually 40%. So once you are above 40%, you, you, you know, you are looked, you are viewed as a bit, you know, risky, Mm. which is why it then influences your credit score. So the higher you are with your utilization ratio, you will be affected negatively Mm. on your credit, on your credit score. Uh, let's talk to to the to the point of managing credit utilization effectively. What do you do? And I think, as you mentioned earlier, it's a, it's about being proactive when it comes to 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 whatever credit you need to replay. Yeah. So the responsibility will always fall on the consumer. You know, it falls on you as a person who has applied for credit. So I would say that when you apply for a credit card, because in this case we're talking um, utilization ratio, if the bank offers you 10,000, for an example, and you know that you are not looking for that amount, ask for a limit on your credit card. Ask for a 5,000 rand limit, for an example. That is less than not what they're offering you. And that you should know your own behavior. You know, if you know that if I've got you know, exposure of the 10,000 rand, and I know that I'm just going to use it. Ask for that limit for yourself, you know, put control measures. And once you've used whatever that you've taken out, ensure that you pay it back as soon as possible. Hence, I say the responsibility will always lie on you as a consumer because you need to manage your own behavior.
what is currently happening at the moment with these high rate cycles is that um, people are having to pay more for loans and the home mortgages. Um, but that is having the effect that many people are then having to resort to to revolving credit simply to get them through the month. The the, the key here is the mm-hmm. is the practice of restraint. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, with the in- increase in the interest rate, it affects everything. It affects, you know, the food prices. It affects a lot of things that we we pay for, you know, the home loans, the vehicle financing. The last thing that you want to do when you find yourself, you know, highly exposed to credit is to go and create more. So I would say first thing first is budget. You know, look at what you have versus what you are now going to to be paying. Because I think now after the increase, what we get is we normally get SMSs from our creditors telling us what the new premium is going to be. So go back and view your budgets and and, and re-budget. Look at, you know, where you might yeah, um, borrow or maybe reduce a bit on your lifestyle, the eating out. Secondly, go and negotiate with your creditor if you feel that, you know, I cannot manage this. Negotiate and look at a better plan of paying back and then make sure that you stick to that plan. But really do try and avoid going to excess revolving credit because, you know, these interest rates are are, are going up and we don't know when the cycle is going to dip again. Mm. So just budget and control what you can. Mm. Ayanda Ndimani, Head of Business Development at Sunlum Retail. We talk money on a Monday and we just spoke about how um, whether you use, whether when you use credit and how it impacts on your credit score when it comes to the utilization of the credit that is offered.